the crack of a little league bat. It's one of the telltale sounds of summer. And veteran coach Bill Geist has heard it many a time. This season marks the 75th anniversary of Little League Baseball. I was involved with Little League for 12 of those 75 years, four as a player and eight as a coach, right here. On this very diamond in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Hold your backpack like that. Like coaches today, we had to start with the basics. Hitting, fielding, throwing, what a throw! Or just finding the ball. Over to first. Come on. But some things were not in the coach's manual, like how to pick a team. I try and get the kids that have the best looking mothers. <laughs> Nothing in the manual about dealing with player grievances either, like being banished to the outfield. It stinks. Hardly anybody hits a ball to you. Kids have been complaining about playing the outfield since 1939, the year that the first Little League pitch was thrown in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. The first year we played, it was, the field was a sandlot. We called it a sandlot. But we did have some bees nests out in the right field. <laughs> so you had to watch the right fielder now and then. Tuck Frazier was there at the start, playing shortstop. Are you proud of being in that first group? Oh, yeah, we were all friends. We're all friends. We're still all friends. We were lucky being in the right place at the right time. I think we should remember always that Little League belongs to the boys. Carl Stotts, a local lumberyard clerk, created Little League with a few bucks. The headquarters was in the trunk of his car. The first time I saw Carl, he came into our Sunday school class, and he said, how would you guys like to play baseball? You know, with uniforms and have people watch you and have teams. It was like Humming Dairy, and Jumbo Pretzel, and Lundy Lumber. Play ball, the fans are cheering. He's steady and eager, and eager fever. Carl's idea was a hit, a home run, exploding with the baby boom. And another Little League World Series is a game for the record books. And the Little League World Series on network television. Takagi center field, has he done it again? Yes! Little League isn't all that little anymore. Today we have uh, probably about two and a half million kids playing on uh, probably close to 200,000 teams in 85 countries. Wow. Like Humming Dairy and Lundy Lumber, those were two of the three uh, original, original teams. teams. Stephen Keener presides over Little League International Headquarters and Museum in Williamsport. Over its 75-year history, Little League has had to keep up with fast-changing times, embracing integration in the 50s. We had one Little League program, the Cannon Street YMCA Little League, that was a, an all-black league. And all the other Little Leagues in South Carolina were all white. And they refused to play the, 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 the black kids. To credit Little League International at the time, they said either you play or you're, you're, you're done, you forfeit. Maria Pepe from Hoboken, New Jersey, opened the door in 1974 for girls to play. Up until that point, Little League had a rule that did not allow girls to play. Mm -hmm. uh, with hindsight, that was pretty foolish. One, 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 one. Today we have thousands of girls playing Little League baseball. Let's go, Connor! Let's go! To be sure, Little League has always considered itself more than a game. Learning to work together as a team, learning the value of sportsmanship, uh, learning to respect authority with umpires. If, if those are the values they can take from this program, they're, they're going to be they're going to be better people. Right. Of course, if you ask the kids what's most important, winning, 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 How about sportsmanship and being on a team? Oh, oh, yeah. Go over and shake hands with the other players. More than two decades after I coached here, let's have fun, pick each other up, help each other out. Things remain pretty much the same. The cheers for hits the tears for strikeouts, and a wide margin for error. Good game. Good game. It's kind of nice to know that a few things remain fundamentally unchanged as time goes by. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game.